What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Today is Friday. Mm -mm -mm. Love me Fridays. Friday, January 5th, 2024. I was home. My day, my work day in the field was over. And just when you think you're about to have some goose, the phone rings. Yep, be sure it does. So I'm on my way to an emergency service call at a funeral home. Yep, you heard that right. <laughs> they have a heating emergency at the funeral home. You wouldn't think that dead bodies need heat, but I guess if you're there going for a funeral and you're alive, well, I guess you need heat then, right? Have you smashed that thumbs up button yet? Why not? Have you subscribed? Why not? Do you know that unless you hit that subscribe button right below this video you're watching, you're going to miss out. You're going to miss out. Because I have a mission. And it's a two-part mission. The first objective is to learn something new every day. And if I can learn something new every day, so could you. The second part of that mission is to make the trades great again. I firmly believe that. The younger generation that's still in school, grade school, high school, maybe in college. There is awesome opportunities for the youth who are mechanically inclined to learn a trade and could possibly make boatloads of cash. And you know I'm right, the ones in the trade. Not the ones sitting in their parents' basement in their underoos, eating Fritos, and drinking Poland Spring water. Not those guys, no. Let's go to this service call. And when you smash that thumbs up button and the subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get post notifications. And if you want some stickers like these, email me, Mike at MikeyPipes.com. Let's get going! Alright, here we are on site. That wasn't bullshit, yeah. See? Funeral home. I hear they're waiting for me to, to make it warm. Alright. In case you don't know what that's for, they put bodies on there before they cremate them. Alright, we have a low water condition here's our site glass two pressure trolls manual reset high limit and our subtractive pressure troll if the pressure ever reaches 10 the only way to get the boiler going is to reset it so right now we have a low water condition and i know we have an automatic feeder but it looks like it's in the lockout mode Yep. If we look on the inside of the VXT24 automatic feeder LOC as a safety lockout, uh, when that's flashing, indicates that the feeder has fed two consecutive feed cycles and the boiler did not restart. To reset the feeder, remove power to the heating system, but also we should troubleshoot why there's a lack of water here. Hmm, so here's that crown gas fired boiler. Um, if you look on top of it, we have, and it's improperly installed, as you can tell, because there's the old one, because, you know, that's what hacks do. You know, they don't install things the right way. Um, we have two mains coming up here, and this is done wrong, because you need to be 
six to 18 inches above the top above the top of the boiler uh, with that first pipe and then come down this one needed to come up 18 inches and then come out come across picking up that one and then pick up our two steam mains here which are wrapped with asbestos so that's that good that's that white powder that you your sister likes you know so make sure our pressure relief valve is where it should be all right so we did a tune up dnf is that frankie <laughs> All right, let's power cycle the boiler. Okay, it's going to restart. What's interesting here is that I, uh, wow, 294 gallons. That's a lot. Doesn't seem like any water's flowing through there. But we got a clog. I'm willing to wager this. We got a clog here. Oh, look at that. Someone got a little creative there. Someone trying to add water? Yep. Maybe time for a new feeder. And I already know what some of you are saying. Like, Mikey Pipes, you should take the screen out. You're right. Let's do that. All right. So using a small adjustable wrench, I am going to remove the screen. That's right in back of the automatic feeder. Now, this wasn't loose. I loosened it up off camera. See? And... A lot of cocky is coming out of there. And there is our little screen and it's, as, as expected, completely caked up. No good. Just gonna flush some water out of there. Okay, so now that's clear. Okay, I'm gonna try to rinse this off in the sink. All right, so I rinsed this off as best I can in the sink. We have still some debris on there, but for the most part, she's clean. We're gonna put her back in there and uh, give her a test. Okay. And let's tighten her back up. See, I'm gonna add some water. Okay, let's feed it. Okay. It's still not passing water. Shot. Horrible water in the neighborhood. Now, this is gonna get me in trouble. But at the end of the day, we are going to have a satisfied customer with heat for the weekend. Here's our drain valve of our water heater. I have a hose here with a flow check. See that flow check right here? And that's feeding our boiler to our boiler drain. So when we need to add water, hopefully it's not anytime soon, but if the homeowner, the business owner needs to add water, they're gonna open up this valve then open up this valve with a screwdriver and add water until she is right where she needs to be. We're going to replace this automatic feeder. And when we do it, we're going to add a bypass so we can add water. All right, uh, do not do this at home. This is only so the people who are paying their last final respects to the deceased this weekend, at least they'll have some heat. All right, who gets, who gets the diagnosis? Who's the boss? Oh, she is. <laughs> <laughs> Is it on? Well, yeah, I'm not up to that yet, but uh, we can, yes. You can give me a uh, piece of plastic and I'll uh, get paid accordingly. Um, <laughs> okay. let, me, uh, okay. let me tell you what happened. Yeah. 
And what I did, take a few, a few moments, yeah. I'll tell you what happened, uh -huh. why it happened, what I did, oh. and what we need to do, and what you'll need to do in the interim. Oh, okay. sure. You with me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The boiler, the steam boiler, the main boiler for the, the building, mm -hmm. was off because there wasn't enough water in the boiler. Okay. Now, normally, you have what we call an automatic water feed. Yeah that uh, gets a signal when there's a low water condition and it turns itself on and it feeds the boiler. Exactly. However, when I got here, the boiler was in low water condition and the automatic feeder was in lockout mode. Oh, okay. Why was it lockout mode? Because it has an internal feature that if it tries to fill itself more than two times, it's gonna stop. Because if it overfills, you can have property damage. You can overfill right. the system and blah, blah, blah. And yeah. That's yeah. not good. So it locked itself out. So the reason why it wasn't, wasn't getting any water, or the re reason why locked it locked itself out is because it wasn't getting any water. Mm -hmm. It wasn't getting any water because an internal screen to save the, the automatic feeder from you know, debris and iron and rust, all that nasty stuff that's in our beautiful water, mm -hmm. was clogged. Oh. I removed the screen yeah. and it was clogged. And I brought it to the sink upstairs, I washed it as best I could, yeah. and I put it back in and it's still doing the same thing. It wasn't passing any water. So then I took the screen yeah. out. And it still wasn't passing any water. Wow. The internal mechanism is clogged and you, you, have, to, you have to replace the automatic mm -hmm. feeder. In the interim, right, because it's Friday afternoon and you, you have probably people going to pay their respects this weekend. Yeah. I don't know how many services you have, but in the interim, I would like to show one of you two mm -hmm. what I did mm -hmm. and what you need to do if the boiler goes out on low water again. Okay. Because okay. right, I added a hose okay. from the water heater to the boiler uh -huh. that because there isn't a there isn't a, a bypass valve installed on the on the system. Mm -hmm. Normally, when these things are put in, we put a, a bypass valve so you could manually open a valve, yeah. on, connect it to a pipe that will yeah. feed it water. Exactly. Yeah. No one ever did that here, Too but late to do that? no, we could do that. And I would suggest that when uh, when we do replace the automatic feeder, let's pipe in an, exactly. a, a, an extra two valves. Mm -hmm. That way, if you ever need to add water manually. You have means of doing it without a hose exactly. off the water here, and you can contaminate the water if you do it wrong. Not that you're gonna do that, but yeah, yeah. Okay. So who's who's in charge? Okay, let's go. And ladies and gentlemen, that's how you complete a successful service call: presenting facts, giving them options, and ways to prevent the issue from occurring again. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you on the next one.